Alrighty then, welcome everybody. Today we are looking at Xbox game streaming, Xbox One game streaming to be more precise. This is something new that's uh, coming to Windows 10 and they just re announced recently here at E3. And uh, we're just going to take a quick look at it because uh, here we happen to have a Windows 10 Insider Preview Program machine and an Xbox One with the preview program also on there as well. So you need those both to be able to uh, to test out the game streaming for yourself if you want to give it a go. A couple of things you need, uh, definitely Windows 10 uh, being with the uh, Insider Preview program and the Xbox app here. This is the Xbox app for the uh, Windows 10. Now you can get that from the App Store, the store is in beta as well, but uh, you can still grab it from there. It is already installed, it seems to want to say install it again, but it's installed. Now uh, we'll just have a look here at the actual, actual app itself, because you'll see in the top right corner, you need version 5.6 and above to, uh, to be able to make it work, otherwise um, it's not going to work for you. So um, it's really cool. I don't know if you've seen it before, but uh, if you haven't, you've got your friends list on the side here. You can see what they're up to straight away from your desktop, which is great. Uh, all your activity feed, just like you see in your Xbox. And you recently played games with uh, your achievements, your gamer scores, all that sort of stuff, which is really cool. Um, and now, a couple of other things that you can do here is uh, you can go to your profile. And uh, up here shows the latest things that you've been doing, uh, including uh, your little uh, avatar here, which is all animated, which is quite cool. Uh, you can customize it, appear offline straight away, um, and a few other options there under the more section. Uh, shows the latest game you've been playing. Now on the left hand side here, you can see uh, your messages. You can look at your activity alerts, uh, check out your achievements. Uh, game DVR, you can record things uh, directly onto your PC uh, from from your Xbox, which is really cool. And uh, you've got your store. Store brings up the Xbox compatible game store on the Windows PC. So if we hit store, up comes here, you can play, you know, Asphalt and a few other different things. Now over here, connect. Connect is really cool. This is where you can connect to your Xbox One. So um, before we go into uh, connecting to your Xbox One, we do need to turn on a few things on your Xbox One itself. So let's just switch over here to the Xbox. Actually, you know what? We're gonna switch back over here to the PC because we can turn on the Xbox straight from your Windows 10 PC. So we hit the turn on function. and it will power on. Now we'll switch over here to the console. It signs you in straight away, which is really cool. And now here we are running the Xbox One. So the Xbox One is turned on and uh, it signs you in straight away. Now, something that you do have to turn on with the Xbox One first, if you go into your settings menu, you have to go to preferences, And you have to turn on, this is only available if you are with the preview program, turn on allow game streaming to other devices. And it's obviously in beta. So make sure you turn that on. And then you will be able to start your um, Xbox experience. So turn those on and then we go back here to the main screen. You better see it all happen. Now uh, let's have a look. We are going to go back to the PC. And we can see here, and now it's uh, connected. You can connect automatically, which is quite cool. And uh, you can hit the stream button. Now the stream button is what we're interested in because that's what we're showing off. But uh, you can also test your connection, disconnect your Xbox from here or turn it off or even turn it on as we just did before. Uh, you can bring up your uh, controller here, and these are the same buttons that you would use to on your Xbox controller, but you can just click them with your mouse which is quite fun. Uh, you've got your remote control here, so if you've got the TV function or you're watching a DVD or something, you can control your Xbox with this remote. 
You can even adjust your sound on your Xbox. You can mute it, turn it up, turn it down, which is pretty cool. So what we're going to do, we're going to go to a dual screen shot here. We can see both the Xbox and the PC exactly the same time. And we're going to hit the streaming button. So if we hit stream, you'll see it's connecting to the Xbox. On the Xbox itself, instantly it shows it's connected. And you can see now the difference between the Xbox and the PC. So the PC on the left, the Xbox on the right, directly mirroring each other. Now there are different quality options. This is on the highest quality option uh, available. It's not a one-to-one -one picture quality. It's because it has to stream over your network and back out to your PC. I don't know if they're going to be improving that, making it better. I mean, it, it is in still beta mode. So uh, hopefully uh, they're going to tweak that to make it look you know, the best possible uh, picture it as as they can but um, now I'm going to be using the uh, controller I've got an Xbox 360 controller connected to the Windows 10 PC as I move around on the PC you can see it's moving around here on the Xbox one we could bring up a game so let's say Trials Fusion is here let's try that one You better see there's almost no input lag whatsoever. I mean, you will see it's not going to be as if you're playing on the console itself, but it's it's pretty good. Just loading up here. Still loading, don't worry about the black screen. So we're going to connect up to the servers, assuming uh, Ubisoft is working well. And uh, we'll show you some gameplay here. We'll just do a quick a quick race. Nothing, uh, nothing too outstanding. Now I'm pushing the buttons of the controller on the um, on the PC. So as I push left, push right, left, right, you can see it's pretty much in sync. I mean, I think it's really well done. So let's let's pick the roach. Now don't blame me if uh, if I crash or fail. It is trials fusion. It's a trial. But uh, we'll do a quick race here, just to show you the differences um, with the uh, quality. Again, PC is on the left, Xbox is on the right. The uh, Xbox is being directly captured, and PC is being directly captured, both on uh, Ava Media capture cards by HDMI. So we get the best possible quality here, 1080p, or at least 1080p, but uh, this video is going to be also in 1080p, so... Unfortunately we can't do 60fps, 1080p uh, on these Ava Media capture cards, but that's alright, we get the picture. So you can see here, it's it looks pretty good. Again, Xbox is on the right, PC is on the left. And uh, you can see here now, I move my mouse. Um, it says up here, streaming from the Xbox operating system. Uh, you can mute your mic. Um, you can uh, stop streaming. You can bring up extra menu functionality here. You can see your bandwidth down the bottom here, which is pretty cool. So it shows um, uh, your maximum bandwidth, your minimum, your average, and uh, yeah, let's just get out of this game because right now it's making all funny noises. Um, and uh, yeah, so that's 
that's the game streaming functionality of it. It's pretty cool. And uh, we just want to go back to the home screen. So if I push that home button, or sorry, the uh, Xbox button on the controller, it brings up this menu down the bottom, which is wonderful. But what I really want to do is get back to the home part. There we go. So uh, this is, again, PC on the left. You can see my mouse. Xbox is on the right. You can't click with your mouse, obviously, because it's uh, it's has to be controlled with a, a controller. But um, yeah, you can uh, when you're on Xbox Live and things like that, your microphone on your PC is picked up. Um, so that's you can see it up here. And um, yeah, lots of cool stuff. This one shows it's streaming. This one uh, brings up the uh, stats menu down the bottom here, which is is quite cool. So there you have it guys, if we hit that stop streaming button, actually not that's, that's not the stop streaming, that's where you can pick your uh, quality, that was on high, so that was the highest quality, and uh, if we hit stop streaming, now because it's still in beta and they're still testing everything, you can see here, uh, give your feedback and everything, previously you just saw there on the Xbox screen it prompts saying you've stopped streaming, so uh, someone else can use the... Uh, the console if uh, if it's out in the lounge room or wherever so the great thing is that you can have your xbox sitting near lounge room and uh, if you want to sit here if you're in your pc in your room here or wherever you are you can still bring up your whole xbox experience and play all your games just like normal so that was you know let's say excellent quality and um there you have it guys that is uh that is Xbox game streaming. Again, things that you do need to take into account are uh, you need Windows 10. You need to have the um, Xbox app from the App Store. Make sure you've got the latest one installed. And then over here on the Xbox, let's bring up the settings menu. Under preferences, you need to make sure you're part of the preview program and turn on allow game streaming. And uh, once you've done all that, uh, you'll be good to go. You'll be able to stream your games as well. So, so far, um, it's, it's going really well. I'm enjoying it. Uh, and uh, Windows 10 is nice. Nice, clean cut and uh, very smooth. Haven't found any major issues. So um, it's going great. So uh, there you have it, guys. Xbox game streaming. Uh, it's a recent update since E3. And I uh, hope you enjoy. Have a great day, guys.